What's up guys, what's going on? It's Dread and I'm back with another video. We're on Madden 22 and today I got the New York Giants once again. Been making a lot of videos for them recently, honestly, and I think that's because there's a lot of changes coming to this organization um, because they're doing terrible and they don't really have a clear future, I think, so they're trying to figure out what they want to do. Anyways, news came out today that Russell Wilson may be on the move this offseason. We hear this rumor a lot. But it makes sense this year because the Seahawks are actually struggling and Wilson has seemed to slow down this year. To be honest, I still don't see it happening. But the rumor was that the three teams he would be okay waiving his no-trade clause for were the Broncos, Giants, and Saints. The Saints and Broncos probably are better teams for him, but realistically, they don't... I think have the assets to get it done. I hate when teams trade away like four straight first round picks. Um, the Giants this year are going to have two top 10 first round picks at least. It wouldn't be a shocker to me if they had two top five first round picks. That is that is the perfect start to a trade for Wilson. Um, so we're going to see what happens if he goes here. I mean, we're going to throw him on the Giants and we're going to see if they can make the playoffs. If they do, we'll hop in, we'll play the Super Bowl if we make it there um, and we'll see if we can win. Personally, I don't think this first year is going to go how we want. I think it's going to take more. This offensive line is horrible. It needs work. Besides that, though, it really is a pretty solid team for the most part. Linebackers need some help, but the secondary is really good. The weapons are great. You just got to figure out offensive line and quarterback, which they've now done. So uh, we're going to start. I'm probably going to ship out Sterling Shepard. I always send him away because he's got decent value, and I just would rather get, like, Galladay, Slayton, and Tony involved more, especially since in real life he's always hurt. I do love him, but I think that's going to be the move. We're also probably going to try to send Logan Ryan away because I want to get Xavier McKinney playing time, and Jabril Peppers is younger than Logan Ryan. So those are going to be the two guys we're going to stick with. I'm going to try to pop this trade, probably try to get us some offensive line. We'll see what happens, uh, and then we're going to hop in. We're going to simulate that first season, and I'll see you guys at the playoffs. Let's get it, guys. If you enjoy content like this, please drop a like, drop a sub. It means a ton to me, and it helps me out a lot. Let's get into the video. All right, so we sent both Logan Ryan and Sterling Shepard for Ryan Jensen. Huge upgrade on the offensive line. It is a center, probably the least valuable position, but he's going to help a ton. Uh, we're going to hop in. We're going to play this season now. Hopefully we make the playoffs. I don't think we're going to. I think it's going to be a long off season. So I'm guessing I will see you guys at the playoffs and we won't be there. And then we'll submit straight to the off season. Let's go. All right. So the first season is over and somehow the NFC East sucked and we made the playoffs. I don't think that's going to last. I have a feeling we're not going to be good. Although we could honestly develop pretty dang well. Um, with the with the help of Wilson, so maybe we have a shot. 32 and 11 is pretty good. 19 touchdowns for Barkley is very good. Uh, 1400 yards is also really solid. Receiving Galladay led the team. No surprise there. Uh, solid from Ingram and Slayton, and Barkley is a running back. 556 and five touchdowns is great. This sun is getting in my face, and I'm not appreciating it. But oh well, gotta do what you gotta do. 122 for Xavier McKinney. Only one interception is disappointing. See how our rookie Aziz Ojolari did only four sacks. That is also disappointing. O'Shane Ziminis stepped up, but he probably won't be playing for long. James Bradbury, seven picks. He'd love to see that. Um, we're going to hop in. We're going to start trying to simulate these games. I don't think we're going to make the playoffs, so or I don't think we're going to make the Super Bowl, so I will probably see you guys right after this week, and we're probably going to sim it to the offseason. But let's see. We got the Vikings, and we lose. Yeah, there it is. We lost. Um, no big deal there. I'm fine with that. We're simming to the offseason and we're gonna fix the team in the offseason. Let's go. All right, so there's not that much going on in free agency that I really like. There's some really good players. I went after one big time guy. I don't know if we're gonna get him. We do. This is a luxury pick to help Wilson out, but we got Chris Godwin. I wanted a big time receiver to pair with Galladay. We'll probably send Slayton off at some point now, but we have Godwin, Galladay, and Tony now at receiver. That's stacked. Got a couple guys to help against the run on the defense too. That's good. And we got Ricard to help block for Wilson. I really like this team. We just got to fix offensive line, so we got to hope we have the picks to do that in the draft. I'm going to simulate there, and we're going to get into it. All right, we are starting the draft. I have no idea where our picks are going to be. Hopefully they're good. Pick 11, that is not what I was hoping for. We really need Evan Neal. Pick 11 is gonna just be too late. I don't think there's any chance he falls to us. Um, maybe we get crazy lucky, but I'm expecting him to go right in here somewhere, probably to Arizona. I'm guessing this is the spot. And it is, that is not what we wanted. 
Obviously, in real life, the Giants are going to have two top ten picks, maybe even top five. Um, I guess if there was a trade for Wilson, those picks would probably be involved. Um, but still, that uh, that's not what we wanted to see here. Wanted to be able to get him a little more help on the offensive line. We're still going to make a move for someone on the offensive line. I just don't know who it's going to be. Kenyon Green sucks in this draft class. He'd probably be the move. Um, Charles Cross might be it. Uh, I think I'm going to go for Charles Cross. It's not what I expected to do here, but we need offensive line so bad. Hidden development is good. He'll be our new starting right tackle. Maybe I even leave him at left. I doubt I will, but it's possible. Uh, we're going to our next pick. I'm going to make our selection here. I'm going to go interior offensive line again. It's got to be, or well, not again. Um, I'm going to go interior offensive line. It's got to be Tyler Linderbaum. This man always lasts, and he's going to be our pick. We'll flip him over to left guard, or maybe right guard. I don't know, but that's a good start. If we can just get one more offensive lineman, I think this team is pretty much Wallace, we'll see what we'll see who's here. We'll see who's here. If there's someone else I really like, I may go with them. But Drake London in real life, I would love that. That'd be awesome. But we also already added uh, Chris Godwin, so there's no point. Um, Matt Corral in real life, Pascal Garrett, Jaleel Billingsley. I like a lot of these guys. I like a lot of these guys a good bit. Um, I'm gonna take the Notre Dame guy though. I love Notre Dame offensive linemen. This is gonna be the last guy we take. Hopefully he finishes filling out the offensive line. I don't know what overall he is. Um, that's going to be the squad we're rolling with, though. We're going to make, we're going to, we're going to try to find some way to get Thomas, Jensen, Linderbaum, uh, Cross, and Patterson in there for our starting five. I don't know what that lineup's going to look like yet. But that's going to be who we're going to roll with. Uh, Wilson should be able to carry us behind that offensive line. The defense is still solid. The playmakers are really, really solid now. We have a great team. We're making the playoffs this year. I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it. Let's get into it. Let's get into this season. Okay, we went out and we got a left guard, Dalton Reisner. Uh, Patterson, not good. Not good at all. Um, so we sent Slayton and Love. They're going to be backups at this point. I love Slayton. I love Love. I think they're both really fun players. Um, but they're gone. We're going to help out Wilson as much as we can. And I think it's, this is the way, the way to do it. I think we're making the playoffs now. I really feel confident in that. Um, we'll see what actually happens. But... We're going to simulate to him now and see if we make it. All right, so this season unsurprisingly went pretty well, and we're actually facing the same team in the playoffs this year. Pretty interesting. I'm surprised by that, but uh, I'll take it. Better season from Wilson, 37-7. and seven. More yards from Barkley, 19 touchdowns. Zamir White, I guess we snagged him, 9 touchdowns, solid. Uh, Galladay, only 1 touchdown. Not very good, uh, but Godwin balled out. Ingram and Kadarius Toney had a much better year. You love to see that. Defensively, Blake Martinez, really solid year. Azizo Julari, 12 and a half sacks. That's beautiful. Good production. This team is really, really good. We're going to upgrade players and they're going to get that much better, especially that offensive line that we spent a ton to work on. I think we're going to go far in the playoffs and I'm excited for it. I'm going to upgrade players and we are going to simulate this first game. All right, the first playoff game is against the Minnesota Vikings. I think we got them this time. I feel confident. And we do, although it's really close. That's crazy. We're gonna upgrade players and get into the next. All right, we got the Saints in this one. I still feel pretty confident, honestly. I think we can take them. I don't know who their quarterback is, but it doesn't matter. We get the win. We're gonna upgrade players and get into this final playoff game before the Super Bowl. All right, we are playing the 49ers. They are a very, very good team, but it looks like ours is actually better, and we are in the Super Bowl. 35-28, that's a win. We're gonna upgrade players. We're gonna hop in, and we are actually gonna start playing this game Let's get into it, guys. I'm ready for a Super Bowl dub right here. All right, it is time for Russ to get to work here in the Super Bowl. This is going to be an interesting game. I'm excited, though. I'm excited. We gotta, we're going we're gonna to just play offense. It's all about Wilson, so we're not going to worry about defense. Although that's a little scary. I think the defense is going to have a tough time slowing down the Chiefs, but not right there. Right there, we get a stop right away. Let's see if Barkley can get to work behind this, uh, this offensive line. It is much improved. But I don't know how much faith I have still. I mean, it's uh, it's better, but it's not great still. Um, the right side is not strong, to say the least. So you're going to have to worry about that. We're going to have to keep our eyes on it. And I'm already choosing wrong plays, I guess. We're going to come back. We're going to run it straight up the middle with Saquon Barkley. And he gets a nice little carry right there. Three yards, nothing crazy. But we're set up for an easy third down here. 
Um, the weapons for Wilson should be really good. We should be able to convert pretty consistently throughout the day here, I think. Um, and let's see what we can do on first down. Evan Ingram wide open. He makes the grab. Wilson finds his speedy tight end, and we get a first down just like that. Um, this is looking good. I mean, the defense gets a stop early. That's what we need. We're going to get the ball at halftime now. We just got to use up clock, get first downs, and uh, win this game. But we are not going to use up much clock here because Evan Ingram is wide open in space. I don't know why I tried to pull that move, but we're down to the 30-yard line, and uh, that's, a, that's a big pickup right there. That's what we like to see. I want to get Barkley going. Wilson thrives with a strong running game. When you have Wilson and his ability to run, when you have a good running back like Barkley behind a decent offensive line that can actually give him space to run, that play action is going to be filthy because you're going to you're going to have the linebacker step up, right? Because of the because of the run with Barkley. And then Wilson can uh, force everyone to step up when he rolls outside like this because he can run. And then that leaves things like Chris Godwin wide open in behind everyone because everyone has to take steps up. It's beautiful. It's it, it, it's 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 the way to win. It's the way to win. A running quarterback in a strong run game opens up everything else so well. Right here to start the second quarter, we are not going to punch it in with Barkley. I thought we had it right there, but we do not quite make it happen. We're, uh, we're going to still try to get it in, though. I think we can do this, and I don't think it should be too hard, honestly. Let's see. Barkley is in. Touchdown. Let's go, baby. That gives us the lead early over the... Saints. Why was I going to say the Saints? The Chiefs here. Um, we're looking good. We're looking good. Let's see if the defense can hold up against Mahomes. It's not going to. They're going to score. We got to come out. We got to score again, but that's not that scary. We got this. So, Giants fans, this rumor, it's come out before that Wilson could go to the Giants, and it made more sense to me before, honestly, than it does now. Um, I think just because of Wilson's age, mostly. The Giants, if they make this move, the Giants are going to have to give up a ton. I would presume they're going to have to give up both of their first round picks this year, which are going to be really, really high. Probably another first round pick and probably some sort of young player. I don't know who that young player would be, but it's probably going to look something like that. To give up that much for a quarterback of Wilson's age is really scary. Wilson obviously does make this team immediately so much better, but the offensive line still sucks. The weapons are injury prone. The defense is good, but it's got holes. It needs more of a pass rush. It needs some help in the secondary because their players get hurt a lot. There's a lot of problems still that need to be fixed, and you don't have any sort of draft picks to get that done anymore. And that really scares me. It really, really does. I mean, I just, like Wilson's gonna take this team no matter what is there. He's gonna make him a possible eight win team. But if he has a terrible offensive line, eight wins is, might be the max and that's not enough to make the playoffs or to at least go far in the playoffs you need more than that so like to me i just i hate the idea of maxing or i guess giving up that much for one player i mean and that's what it is uh it is one player and i know that player is one of the best players in football but still it's so much to give up like i just i hate the idea of it i would much rather keep uh keep those picks go out get someone like Evan Neal or Tyler Linderbaum or someone like that that's going to be a huge cog on that offensive line. Go out in free agency, get some help on offensive line. Did it already hit halftime? It literally already hit halftime. I'm getting distracted talking too much. I don't know how we used up that much clock, but I guess we did. Um, no big deal. We're going to get the kick here. We're going to go down the field. We're going to score. We're going to take the lead. Um, but I mean, the Giants have a lot of good building blocks. They got to figure out offensive line. They got to figure out quarterback. Those are the two big issues here. And to me, you can't figure out both if you go out and get someone like Wilson. You're only going to be able to figure out one. Um, so I just don't see it happening. I don't see whoever the new general manager is. I, Because I swear, if Gettleman's not gone, I'm going to cry. But whoever that new general manager is, is they're going to have to figure out those spots. And I don't see them going out and getting an older quarterback, especially one that came off of an injury and a much slower season than what they normally have. I just, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. It's not how you build a team. These big, massive pl trades for a player where you where you risk your future, it just isn't what happens. It's not what works. I mean, every time you see a trade like this, they don't seem to they don't seem to pan out well. And I don't think this one would be that different. Um, a team like the Saints, it might make a little more sense. They can give up. I guess they could give up their like first and second round picks for the next couple years. 
but the Seahawks, realistically, they're going to look at that and they're going to see, okay, these are like somewhere like 15 to 20, not top five, you know? Like, is there really value for the Seahawks there to trade away Wilson? I don't know. I don't know. Because the Seahawks aren't going to be able to get their fix at quarterback in those spots, I don't think. I, so, like, what do you do? I mean, maybe the Broncos, but the Broncos are putting together a respectable record this year. Their pick's not going to be great. I mean, the Broncos they have some good young players, but again, if you send all your young players away, a superstar quarterback's not going to answer that for you. I mean, look at all the good quarterbacks in the league right now. Mahomes, he's got a lot of help. He's got Travis Kelsey and Tyreek Hill. They're phenomenal players to help him out. Uh, Lamar Jackson, he has a strong offensive line, although that is getting so much weaker, and they're struggling. Um, he's got a strong defense that's now getting weaker, and they're struggling. Um, I mean, you just you look at these players. Aaron Rodgers has Devontae Adams. Aaron Jones, he had a strong offensive line. Once again, kind of starting to get weaker. little scary. Um, you're saying that about a lot of guys. Tom Brady. Look at his receiving core. Look at his offensive line. Look at his defense. It's so good. Um, I mean, these teams that are going to trade for a player like Wilson, we get the touchdown there. Let's go, Barkley. Uh, those those players that are, you're going to trade away, all of those guys to get someone like Wilson. That's not. It's not how it gets done. It's not how it gets done. It would help the Seahawks a ton, I think. Um, if they could pull a really good trade, they are going to go straight down the field and score. It looks like maybe not. They kicked the field goal. Okay, we have a chance to win this game just like that. Um, so yeah, as much as I, as a Giants fan, would love to have a player like Wilson, I don't think I could. I don't think I could rationalize giving up as much as they need to. We'll see what happens. I don't expect Wilson to get traded, anyways. Honestly, I don't. I think Seattle keeps him. I think they move on from uh, Pete Carroll and probably try to fix the offensive line and give it another shot. I think that's what they do. We'll see. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious to hear everyone's opinions. These rumors are always like. I don't want to say they're stupid, but they're kind of dumb. I mean, I never have seen a player like Wilson get traded before. Like, you never see a player of that caliber go, especially at the quarterback position. It just doesn't happen. Uh, it probably won't happen this year, but the guy that reported it is relatively respectable, Jordan Schultz. He's he's not like Adam Schefter or Ian Rappaport or someone that's like one of the top, top guys, but he's up there. He's up there. He knows his stuff. He He's definitely got his insiders. So we'll see. It's possible totally is but let's worry about this game right now and let's win the super bowl here i think we're gonna do it just fine i don't think we're gonna have a hard time at this point i mean look at that barkley's barkley ended the game just like that <laughs> that was a ridiculous move by barkley he breaks into open space he scores a touchdown and he's gonna give us a two score lead uh there's only a minute 48 left the chiefs offense is gonna take a good bit of time right here to go down the field they are gonna score but that is the game, guys, because we get the onside kick and we kneel the... Okay, I hate Madden so much. They decide to use up no clock. They're just gonna, they're just gonna mess around and go for it. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna send it here to someone. I don't know who. We're gonna send it to Chris Godwin. Uh, we're gonna wait, toss it up. That'll leave almost no time left on the clock. There'll be time for maybe one Hail Mary. We'll see. Um, but we may also just catch this and end the game anyways. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, that's it, last play. And it doesn't matter, it's incomplete, but the clock has run out. We just won the Super Bowl while only throwing seven passes. That's what a good offensive line and a good running back can do for you. And the added ability of Wilson being able to run. This team was awesome, it was a ton of fun to play with, uh, but I don't think it's gonna happen. It just doesn't make sense to me. Either way, let me know what you guys think. And seriously, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate every time you guys click on the video. If you guys would drop a like and a sub, that would mean a ton to me. If not, no worries. I hope you guys still keep clicking on the videos anyways, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace, guys.